Hey everybody, Fresno Reviews here, and uh, welcome back to another uh, Fresno Reviews interviews, people. And uh, I believe the last interview that I did was, uh, I believe, uh, Road Rage Dudes. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, um, today I'll be interviewing like one of my friends that I kind of know know for about a year. So, uh, feel free to uh, introduce yourself. Hey, what is crackalacking, guys? It's Game Walkthroughs 22, and um, I'm just very excited to be here right now. I'm um, being interviewed by Brian's 101 Reviews, and um, uh, without further ado, let's just uh, let's just get right to the interview. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be answering, going to answer ten questions, so I have them listed here. So uh, yeah. And uh, the uh, first question is, uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, um, well, I've been doing YouTube for like five years now. My first account actually was um, Ice Dragon 182, which I started on August 8th, 2010. And um, eh, I mean, it was a channel that really... Um, uh, I just kind of uploaded like random videos to it and it's just um, I didn't have too many subscribers and I eventually like a year later then I created Game Walkthroughs 2 which was exactly one year later August 8th 2011 and um, that, uh, that channel was pretty successful and I think I had like almost 300 subscribers and I forget how many videos I had on it but it was a pretty successful channel in my opinion and I had a lot of fun making um, my let's plays like Super Mario Sunshine and Luigi's Mansion and um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and then um, unfortunately I I made I made the mistake of like one day I was trying to um, disconnect myself from Google Plus and little did I know that it was going to delete my channel which I was really disappointed about and I was like oh I lost all these subscribers and yeah. all those videos I worked hard on and then about a couple days later then I created Game Walkthroughs 22 which um, is the channel I've current is my um, singular channel that I've currently been using and I only have like 10 subscribers and I think only like 650 video views but um but I'm um I'm really enjoying making videos for it I just finished Super Mario Sunshine and then my next project is going to be Luigi's Mansion yeah and um uh yeah I mean I just I've I, uh, YouTube has been a blast. I've, I've really enjoyed, and I've really enjoyed making all these like gaming and like diff and like um, reviews and just like all these different videos. And um, I um, I hope I continue on YouTube for as long as I can. And I just hope that I hope that this new channel uh, lasts for. I mean. <sighs> pretty much as long as it can last for like i don't know like over 10 years would be great but um i just hope that i don't accidentally delete this channel and i hope i get more subscribers and more video views and more people watch my videos and um uh yeah long live youtube is all i have to say yeah uh the uh next question is uh when did you start doing youtube <laughs> Well, I mean, I just and I, I pretty much just answered that it was um, August eighth, two thousand ten. But I mean, I've pretty much I've pretty much been watching YouTube videos like ever since two thousand seven. So I've been I've been watching YouTube videos for like a long time. But I didn't actually get my first YouTube account until um, August eighth, two thousand ten. Because um, I forget I forget exactly how I found out about YouTube. I just remember watching. Um, um, this uh, this channel uh, Mario Mario eighty nine Mario Mario eighty nine eighty nine was um, the channel that um, was the first Mario plush videos and I thought that they were um, really good and they um, were pretty funny and uh, the storylines were thought out pretty well and um, 
I've, I mean, I've watched a lot of, like, other videos since then. I mean, like, like gaming videos and just, like, um, action figure reviews and all that kind of stuff. But um, I, I pretty much wanted the YouTube account. Uh, um, I think it was, like... I think it was like late 2009 or early 2010 but and at the time I couldn't figure out how to create one and then I just remember um, just creating one a um, little before I was about to go into eighth grade and I just I just thought it was it was pretty cool that I had my own YouTube channel and then I could upload videos and um, I um, uh, <sighs> I mean, yeah, pretty much. I've pretty much been doing YouTube since since I was 13 years old, August 8th, 2010. But um, uh, that's that's really that's really all I have to say about that. All right. Uh, hmm. The uh, next question is: What was your first ever LP you posted on YouTube? Um, my first Let's Play. Um. It was it was back on uh, game walkthroughs uh, game walkthroughs two it was um, it was back in um, it was like the last day of March of 2012 I um, I played this game it was called um, it was called Pajama Sam Don't Fear the Dark it was basically um, a remake of um, a game that I remember playing so much as a little kid. I mean, it's really. I mean, it's pretty. It, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's just like a point-and-click game. But um, I I did that um, on the Wii, and um, at the time I kind of didn't really know what I was doing in terms of commentary. Like I was, I was um, kind of quiet. I mean, yeah, I was. I didn't really talk too much, and I um, was trying to be entertaining. And this is at a time too where I didn't really have like good um, like quality to record videos. I like, at the time, I had this really crappy small Kodak camera, which um, yeah, it was okay. Um, it it was it was a waterproof camera, so I mean, I could have um, recorded videos underwater and been pretty cool. But um, I yeah, I had this small Kodak camera, and the, the quality wasn't that great. And um, I don't remember I don't remember how many views it got, but I remember. Um, that was my first Let's Play, and then basically as I continued doing other projects, I my commentary got better, and I kind of started getting more used to um, doing commentary while playing video games, and I, used, I was um, getting more um, confident um, with, uh, or used to, like, being behind the camera and just, like, um, playing video games and commentating, and, and then eventually I got, yeah, Pinnacle Studio... And um, and then that was when um, I was recording with a uh, uh, like a I guess capture card, um, um, and I've pretty much been using Pinnacle Studio ever since 2012. And I also got this other uh, this other um, capture device for my birthday last year. It's called the Elgato Game Capture, which is kind of similar to um, the thing they were telling me about earlier, the Easy Capture or um, easy cap 280 yeah the easy yeah that thing um i mean it's it, um it allows you to record um hd systems like the wii u and um like the uh xbox one and ps4 and all those hd systems and yeah it has um it has um this this end um where you can plug where you can plug into the hdmi port on like the back of your tv and then there's this other um, the other side um, allows you to. Um, how is it? Um, well, um, uh, um, um, oh, I know that um, the one side you plug into your TV, and then the other side, I think, um, you plug either into the. Um, the, the console that you want to record with, or um, the or the, um, the Elgato uh, capture device itself. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I last recorded anything with it. I've been mostly using Pinnacle Studio because I didn't really mess around too much with the Elgato. I just recorded like 
I recorded game. I just recorded um, gameplay of um, uh, Super Mario Bros. Two on the virtual console, and that was pretty much it. And I did record a little bit of Mario Kart Eight, but I didn't really dive too much into it. Um, but I I know that it's a it's a pretty good um, capture device, and um, the um, quality is um, pretty. It's pretty good quality because it's HD, but I didn't really, I never messed around too much with it, and uh, I, I mean, I prefer Pinnacle Studio just because I've been I've been using it for a while now, and I'm more used to how Pinnacle Studio works, and I'm just I'm so used to making videos with that. But um, uh, I mean, the Elgato Game Capture, I would I, I would still recommend. I mean, if you actually would put in the time and effort into figuring out how to uh, how to use it properly and how to record videos properly with it. But um, uh, yeah, like uh, like before I actually got the uh, the EasyCap 280, I think uh, like before that, like we we actually. I actually planned on getting the Elgato, and it, and for some reason it, it just wouldn't work on my computer because, uh, like, it needed like a two point two gigahertz processor to be able to work, and it did not uh. work on my computer, so I had to return it from Best Buy, and that's why I went on to Amazon to uh, get the EasyCap two eighty, which does the exact same thing as the uh, Elgato. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, um, the uh, next question is: uh, Do you plan to do more collaborations with other people in the future? Yeah, I do. Eventually, I I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be though, because um, I mean, uh, if we're talking about in terms of too mad for gaming, I mean, we're not that popular yet. I mean, we have. We currently have 35 subscribers, and we almost have 10,000 channel views. But um, I mean, we probably wait till we we'll probably wait till um, we get more popular, and then we'll probably consider maybe collaborating with. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, like I guess other uh, some other popular YouTubers, but. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna wait until we're a little more popular, and um, and uh, and all right. That's uh, probably about it. I can't really say about that. Okay. Uh, the uh, the uh, next question is: Why did you pick? Toy Story 2 to be your first LP on your new channel, Game Walkthroughs 22. Um, I chose I chose that as my first project because um, I mean the game is just is is so nostalgic for me. I um, it was it was the first. I mean, well, it was one of the first um games that I got footage for on Game Walkthroughs 2 before I deleted those old videos. Although it was just it was just a walkthrough. I didn't it wasn't a let's play at the time. I just I just played through the game. I recorded with my old crappy Kodak camera and um, I uh, I just I just thought that it's gonna be a project to start with because um, I I don't know. I just thought that it's it was one of the best games that I've ever played. It had some pretty it's like a, um, it's a, um, like a, kind of like a first person shooter, like exploration. It's kind of like, cause there are, cause there are times in the game where you're able to, um, be able to go into first person perspective and you're able to, um, like, I mean, it's, it's almost kind of like, like Call of Duty or Halo if you think about it, except like the really only difference is that, um, instead of using like any kind of like guns or weapons, you're just, um, most of the time, you're just using um, Buzz's laser, so um, it's, I mean, I just thought that, I mean, it was a game that I really enjoyed playing um, as as a kid, and I just, you know, I don't know, I've had a lot of nostalgia, nostalgia for the game, and I just, um, I don't know, I just felt like, I just felt like doing it first, and just, um. Alright, 
Um, the uh, next question is, what is your favorite game by Nintendo? Okay, that's pretty easy. Um, I have to say at the moment, probably Super Mario Maker, because... Uh, <laughs> I honestly, I've never played nothing. I've never played anything like as funny or as um, like um, really uh, uh, strange and like weird as Super Mario Maker because um, I'm I'm not really gonna spoil too much about the game. Um, but I, but let me just say that there's this mode called Ten Mario Challenge, and um, there's a couple levels where it's like. Um, it's like if, uh, Mario gets a, um, like a, there's like a skinny mushroom, and if, like, Mario gets that, he turns, like, really tall and skinny, kind of like Waluigi, it's just, like, it's, it's pretty funny, and then, and then there's, like, there's, like, all these, like, funny sound effects, like, when you, um, kill Goombas, or if you, um, like, hit enemies with a turtle shell, and there's just, um, and I also really like it, too, because, um, because you're able to, you're able to get like different like kind of like costumes like for um, Mario. It's kind of like I mean like it, it's basically like you're able to play as other characters except I think they're they're referred to as like costumes. Like there's so many characters you can play as. You can play as Mario, Luigi, uh, Wario, Waluigi, Peach, Toad, Yoshi, and then even um, um, characters from other um, games such as um, the Pikmin and um, Sonic. And uh, I think Samus, and uh, oh yeah, Link, and just like all these other, just like Nintendo and um, uh, Sonic being the one Sega related character, but just like all these different video game characters, it's just it's just it's pretty cool to um, to see like all of them in uh, 8-bit form, and it's just I mean, and it's also cool how the game. Um, how you can uh, play levels through um, the original Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. 3 and New Super Mario Bros. U. And it's just, I mean, it's, and I think it was a pretty cool con concept how Nintendo is allowing players to create their own um, Mario levels and how other people are able to play each other's uh, Mario levels. And it's just, I just think it was a, it was a pretty cool concept. And I just, and Mario, and, 10 Mario Challenge just cracks me up. I mean, we've, we've played it a couple of times now as uh, Too Mad for Gaming, and we actually we recorded we recorded a video of us, of like our reactions toward the different levels, and it was just, I mean, it's just, it's a blast, and it's just, I, um, I, we've had so much joy playing it, and it's just, um, I, I highly, I highly think that it's, it's, um, one of Nintendo's best games, if not maybe the best game that Nintendo has put out so far. But yeah, I, uh, <laughs> uh, bottom line, I highly recommend it, and um, it's just it's it's a lot of fun, and there's like just a lot of like really funny moments that happen in the game. Yeah, um, I uh, don't have uh, Mario Maker yet, but yeah, when I, I but when I do, uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to plan to to do like make like a. Uh, like a level for you guys to challenge, like maybe like an impossible one that you guys won't be able oh, yeah, to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but there's like impossible levels to even like that that mm -hmm. a lot of people have made in Mario Maker. Yeah. Yep. All right. So uh, <clears throat> the uh, next question is: Why did you make another channel called Base Rock Throughs Two? Um. Well. At the time, I wanted to have a channel um, with just music-related content, I, and I thought I would just upload some videos of me playing different songs on my bass guitar, and I would make some videos of me um, singing like some songs like by like the Red Hot Chili Peppers and like all these like older bands like Metallica and like all that stuff. But um, I. I haven't made a video on that channel for like four months now, and I don't think I really plan on continuing it because um, I've um, I don't know I've, just, I've lost I've just lost interest in that channel, and um, I uh, I don't know I don't really play my bass guitar that much anymore, and um, I mean I kind of realized at the time when I 
kind of stopped making videos for the channel that um, video like video games and just like um, filming have been like more of my passion. I mean, like I, um, I've been doing bass now for uh, like two, yeah, two and a half years, but I've kind of stopped because because um, I. I was taking lessons at um, this one place called the School of Rock, but um, I I stopped about like a month ago, and just um, and uh, me and uh, Silver Mario Semi Two and Road Rage dudes and um, and uh, C J Holden and some other friends, we were doing this like little jam session where we were. Um, uh, learning songs together, and we were gonna like play them as as a band, and um, and <laughs> we were gonna hopefully like perform for a lo for a live audience someday, which I don't know if that would have ever happened or not. But we've um, we haven't we haven't jammed together for I think like a month now, and we're kind of just thinking that this whole band idea really isn't gonna work because. Because, like, I've lost interest, Trevor's lost interest, and CJ has lost interest. Um, so, uh, Silver Mario 72, uh, I think, is going to uh, get together with some of his friends, and they're going to um, start their own band without us and play songs, because, like, me, Trevor, and CJ, we're, like, we don't really show too much interest in it anymore, and uh, I think... Um, uh, Silver Mario 72 just thinks that it would be best if we just, like, um, separate and just, like, he just does his own, like, solo band with some of his friends, and then, like, I mean, we per like he, and then he, and he also uh, just told us that, like, the thing that, that all of us that we do best, that we just, like, film videos for Too Mad for Gaming and, um, like, record, like, video games and, um, and then um, I'm I'm pretty sure that um, Trevor mentioned in his interview that we're going to be that we're going to be doing a um, a Mario Chase in real life series coming soon where um, we um, we pick one person to be Mario and then um, I think one person is um, going to be filmed to record like that person is going to record um, whenever there's um, whenever there's a um, a takedown or whenever um, one of the uh, the chase toads is like um, chasing Mario and like trying to tackle him down to the ground, um, and uh, and we have the we, and we we're we're gonna be using um, all of our houses as like different um, like chase arenas and um, there's gonna be like a time limit um, for um, how long we have to how long. Um, the chase toads have to catch Mario, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I think it's I think we're gonna be uploading videos of that on Saturdays. We don't know when we're gonna start it yet. Poss possibly the next time all of us hang out, we're, we're we're not sure yet, but it's gonna be coming soon, and it's gonna be um, pretty fun. And uh, uh, it's gonna be some probably good takedowns and um, just a lot of funny moments. All right. Um... The uh, next question is, uh, do you plan to continue to do YouTube, like, as a job in the future? Um, I don't plan on doing it as a job. I see it more of as, as, as a hobby, um, because I know that you're able to make money from YouTube videos, but, I mean, um, for the entire time I've been doing YouTube, I've always thought of it as a hobby. I just, like, I just like making videos for fun and just, like, entertaining people and, um, I I don't know. I mean, if I was doing it as a job, I don't think I'd really enjoy it as much because it's like I'd be having to like put out put out videos um, uh, like in a certain amount of time uh, to like uh, make money and, and plus like we don't our videos we they don't get that many views so I don't I don't think we'd really be making that much money anyway but um, but I definitely see it more as a hobby rather than a job because um, if I mean if YouTube were a job, I I just think or I mean if I was doing YouTube as a job, I just think that I'd probably enjoy it less and I probably probably wouldn't be making as many videos because it'd be um, a lot more hard work and it would just 
I don't know. There's just something about just doing YouTube videos for money that I just I don't really see too much enjoyment out of, and I honestly think that it's better to be like um, doing like actual physical work, like working at like a restaurant or something, rather than um, making videos for a living just because. I don't know. I feel like it's, I don't know. I feel like, um, doing, like, hard physical labor is, like, <laughs> is, like, much more of an accomplishment than, um, uh, making videos and, like, getting millions of subscribers and, like, hunt, um, and, like, uh, millions of channel views rather than, um, uh, like, doing actual hard physical labor, so. Alright, um... The uh, next and uh, final question is, what would be your biggest goal you want to achieve on your YouTube channel? Um, are you talking about Game Walkthroughs 22 and 2 Map for Gaming, or just uh, my um, singular channel? Uh, your your single channel is Game Walkthroughs 22. Um... I'm hoping someday that I will be able to gain all those subscribers back that I lost. It's probably going to take a very long time because it seems like not a lot of people know about uh, my new singular channel, which is pretty disappointing to me, and it's pretty disappointing how it's taking me a long time to get subscribers and um, uh, get channel views, but I guess my biggest goal would probably be to... Um, uh, just, I don't know, maybe get, um, I don't know, a couple thousand views on some of my Let's Plays and, um, uh, um, yeah, I'd say probably, um, maybe someday reach, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know, like, 100 or 200 subscribers, because, I mean, that's what I originally had on Game Walk Boost, too, but that channel's been gone for, like, five months now, and I just, I, I just hope I'll be able to eventually get all those subscribers back and those channel views and that, um, more people will tell their friends about my channel and, and um, I might get popular in the future and, like, like sign autographs and stuff. I doubt that's gonna happen, but um, I just um, I just hope that um, that um, I'll be able to, I'll like get more comments on my videos and um, yeah, basically more subscribers and um, more channel views and um, just uh, make Game Walkthroughs Twenty Two a stronger channel overall. All right, so. <clears throat> I think that's probably about it, so, uh, yeah. Um, I think, uh, I'll put, uh, GameWalkers22's channel down in the, in the description below to, to check them out, and, uh, I guess also 2 Mad for Gaming as well. And, yeah, definitely, uh, yeah, definitely 2 for Gaming. Yeah, um, is there anything else that you want to say before I end the video? Um, just, uh, um, do you, um, uh, any of you guys are watching this video, um, make sure to um, like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I really appreciate it if you guys could check out Game Walkthroughs 22. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, um, let me know what you guys think about my videos. And also do the same thing for Team Map for Gaming. Make sure to subscribe to that channel if you haven't already done so. And be sure to. Um, Check out our videos there, like, comment, and subscribe, and um, uh, give us feedback, what you think about our videos, whether videos you'd like to see in the future, and um, continue to enjoy the uh, Mario Party Marathon, and um, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's basically about it. So. Alright, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I have been for us from Views. And I've been Game Walkthroughs 22, and it's been a pleasure being a uh, guest star for um, this, this um, uh, I think, 
I was it like fourth or fifth episode of your interviews, something like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure, and um, yeah, prize one with you. Thanks for having me, and um, uh, we will hopefully be getting back to uh, Super Mario 3D Land Special Worlds versus soon. Yeah, because uh, that's something that I also have to work on eventually. Like I will actually, yeah, like I did. Like, I think, like, a few weeks ago, like, I did lost all of my stuff. Like, we're going to have to redo the episode that we that we did. Not the one that has not yet been uploaded, so we might have to yeah. re- <laughs> redo that one. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess yep. that's about it. So, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the uh, next video. See you yep. guys later. See you guys then. Yeah. Bye.